For the past 20 years, one aspect of World of Warcraft has been the subject of much controversy. The use of third-party add-ons. These add-ons can customize WoW so much to the point where it feels like a different game. The community was always split on the subject. Some argue that add-ons provide an unfair advantage, blurring the line between skill and assistance. On the flip side, many defend the use of add-ons because they make the game more fun, easier to play and better looking. I see add-ons as essential tools to enhance the gameplay experience and while I understand concern about fairness, I believe that add-ons simply level the playing field. They're available to anyone willing to use them and mastering them requires its own skill and dedication. With that being said, let's take a look at 10 useful add-ons you simply must have. If you discover one add-on that catches your eye, smash the like button. If you discover two, consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell to join us on our quest to reach 100,000 subscribers. Now let's jump right into it, shall we? The Rune Engraver was one developed specifically for Season of Discovery and it's a quality of life game changer. It allows you to organize and swap your runes with a single click of a button uh, like this. You just choose the chest one and you click on something and it swaps automatically. On top of that, you can drag it wherever you want. You can uh, hide those uh, names if you already know which one goes where. You can right click it and go to the options and then you can um, do a lot of other things here. You can hide the tooltip if you don't want to see on top uh, the name of the rune and then it's going to be quite easy. You can hide the drag tab if you already found the position where you want to keep it. You can also hide the slot labels where it says uh, head, uh, leg and so on. You can make it as big as you want. That's what she said. But I like to keep it at the 100% seems like the default is quite nice. Also, the pop menu goes left and right. Uh, so if you want them to, if you want to put it like, for example, here, and then um, the menu is left to right, you're not going to see because it's going to pop on the other side, right? I think this add-on is going to be cool to have for Season of Discovery for its entirety, for next phase, especially when we're going to have like seven runes and it's going to be easy to sort through. It's going to be easy to use and uh, it's a pretty much must have. Now let's move to the next add-on. People always ask me how do I keep my minimap so clean and so tidy? And it's quite simple. You see this yellow bar here? If I hover over it, it's going to pop up a menu with all the minimap buttons from all of my add-ons. And trust me, I have a lot of them and not all of them are even shown here. Whenever I hover off, it disappears and it makes my UI quite simple. Now, you can move it wherever you want. It's going to change position. You can have it above here. You can have it down here, wherever you want to put it. And it's just going to pop in the direction that you have it. Now, if you go back to it and you go to the options, there's a lot of customization you can do there. The ones that you don't need, you can probably just uh, click on them and they will disable them, right? If, for example, some of them are double. If you don't want to see the weak auras because all you do is slash WA, you just hide it from there. It's, it's not going to be there anymore once you hover over it, right? And you can do a lot with a lot of them, right? Like, like that. You can keep as many as you want. If you don't want details, if you don't want plater, if you don't want poly power because you don't use it a lot. And voila, it's getting the list smaller and smaller. And then you have a lot of other customization. You have the button size, you have the numbers of button in a column and so on. This add-on is quite cool. And in the past, I used a similar add-on called the minimap button button, which was cool as well. But this one just tops it up. It's much better. It's, it's better hidden and it just makes my UI more organized and makes my gameplay more efficient. Now let's move to the next add-on. The Luxtos Experience Bar is one of the coolest weak auras out there and I don't even use that many weak auras. As you can see above here, we have an XP bar with three different colors. There's a purplish one, which shows how much you completed out of the current level. There's a yellow one, which shows how much you have completed with quests after you turn them in. And there's a light bluish one, which shows the amount of rested XP you have. On top of that, you have a time played this session and also a leveling XP per hour, which shows exactly the amount of XP per hour you can gain. This is a really cool one, helps you keep track of your leveling and makes leveling a bit more efficient. Now, you probably already know about the ad I'm going to talk about, Rest XP. Every content creator is promoting it. I've been using it way back since Season of Mastery. I've leveled all my characters in the past two years using Rest XP, maybe except one of two, but I was trying something else. For example, this hunter was leveled with rest XP all the way to 33 and my previous mage was leveled in dungeons, so I can do a comparison between them. In the dungeon with my mage I was doing one level per hour with a normal group, nothing too special. 
And with this one, I was able to do even a level in 40 minutes from 25 to 30, which was kind of crazy. Obviously, I had some rested XP as well on top of that. But what I'm trying to point out here, it's one of the fastest leveling add-ons on the market. And the guides are kind of tailored for specific classes. It helps you get the runes on your way to max level. It shows you where to get the books. And most of it, it's free. So if efficiency in leveling is something that you're interested in, rested XP, it's a must-have. There's going to be a link in the description for the free version. And if by any chance in the future you want to upgrade to a full version, use my link in the description down below and my code Frostadamus for 5% off. This add-on is really cool if you have small issues with your grammar. We always type fast in WoW and sometimes we make mistakes with our spelling. So let me show you how this works. Let's say you're typing on the looking for group channel um, a message. Life is like a box of chocolates. Uh, you'll let's put it like this you'll never never get what you want huh? that's not the correct way <laughs> as you can see we wrote an entire sentence and it has a lot of misspells a lot of mistakes what you can do now you can just go right click on them and choose the correct word box was replaced with box chocolates is uh, misspelled and then you can just go pick chocolates Yule doesn't uh, have like, well, a small mistake there. But if you want to type like perfectly. There we go. Misspelled. If you have problems with your grammar, now you can fix them. And also learn to type in English. It's like going back to school. Not that you need it, but hey, this is a positive add-on. Let's move to the next one. Character Stats Classic is the one shown with a blue color into the add-on list and it allows you to see the stats in an advanced way. In my opinion, they should be a default in the Blizzard UI. It gives two windows with attributes and you can choose which one you can see at all times. You can choose between base stats, melee, range, spell and defenses based on your class and whatever you use in your class. For example, for a mage, I have the base stats because I'm interested on in the amount of intellect that I have, but also I am interested in the spell uh, attributes. So you can see the spell power, including the fire and the frost one. You can see the critical strike rating. And it gets modified with the world buffs and with the buffs you have, obviously. Currently, I have 10% fire crit on a basic. That's because I'm using the wrong rune. As you can see, I'm changing to burnout. And my crit should go to 25%, which is really nice. You can also see the hit. So uh, you can see the hit for arcane spell. For a Spellfire hit, it keeps tracks of the talents as well, and it's just really nice to have. Now let's move to the next add-on. This add-on solved the problem for me. As you know by now, I level a lot of characters, and whenever I was leveling those characters, I would ask myself what spells I have available at the trainer next to see if it's worth to go in the town to learn new spells. This issue is now solved with an add-on called What's Training. You press P, you go to the spellbook, and under everything else, you're going to see here what I can train. Currently, my level is 17, and I haven't been to the trainer since 16. As you can see, Moonfire rank 3 is available, Rejuvenation rank 3 is available, but also Swipe rank 1 is available. So if I would desperately need one of those uh, spells to learn, I could go straight to the city and train them. Or I could wait to level 18, which is going to give me like more spell like Roots Rank 2, Fairy Fire, Hibernate, Maul, and Regrowth. And if you scroll all the way down, you can see like missing uh, spells from Talents as well. Fairy Fire, uh, Insect Swarm, and Nature Grasp. You can see the levels required for them as well. On the bottom, you can see what you already learned. It's really cool add-on and you don't know how often I use this when I level a character. If you don't have it, you should take it as well. Trying to find a group, but your guildies are not online? Looking for group bulletin board is the add-on you want. Now, this add-on takes all your channels, including the looking for group, the guild channel, the say channel, the yell channel, and scans people that are looking for group, either looking for members or looking to join groups. So you can easily organize a group or join one by whispering the people that you can uh, find. As you can see, there are a lot of groups available, even though it's early morning on NA. You can click on someone's name to be able to send a whisper to them or you can right click on their name to invite them in a group if they're advertising that they want to join a group. Keep in mind that this is a Wrath of the Lich King add-on but it works for classic as well. You go to the settings and you want to 
disable the TBC filters and the Wrath of the Lich King filters uh, and only keep the filters that you're interested in at any given time. So I only made all the dungeons until Uldaman and the, all the battlegrounds and uh, miscellaneous trade. You can see like summoning, people summoning and stuff like that. So if you want to remove Walling Caverns, if you don't do it anymore, or Dead Mines, Shadow Fang Keep, you can just uncheck uh, them and then they're not going to appear anymore into the looking for group channel it's quite easy you can ban words you can filter words and uh, i've been using this one for years now ever since classic and it's one of the best looking for group add-on makes it easy to organize groups but also it makes it easy to join the groups that you want now let's move to the next add-on nova world buffs is a cool add-on for various reasons first and foremost it shows you whenever the ashen veil event starts it also shows you when the strangle torn pvp event starts but at the same time, you can also see the Dark Moon Fair. The cool thing about it and what I use it the most, if you click on it, you can see the layer. You can also set it in such a way that you can see the layer that you are on the minimap. And then you can see the guild layers as well. So whenever you want to swap layer, you can go there and you can whisper a guild member and ask him politely for an invite so you can swap layers. Also, there are many more things you can do with this add-on. Once we get to higher levels, you're going to be able to see the sunk flowers on the map and many more. Now let's move to our next add-on. For our last add-on today, Beast Tooltip is an add-on that I used to use in Wrath of the Lich King and I really enjoyed it a lot because it provides for every class a best in slot list and also for every spec available. Uh, in phase one was provided all the way until the last day of phase one and consistently updated. However, we do not have yet a phase two. Probably by the time you watch this video, Phase 2 is going to be available. If not, in the pinned comments below, I'm going to find a similar add-on to list it because having a best-in-slot add-on is quite cool. And the reason why this add-on is so cool is because when you go to your class, you can see a variety of options in the order of which are best for you to be found. For example, in Phase 1, the first uh, finger was the Signet of the Twilight Lord, the second one was the Lord Keeper's Ring, and then you had options, the third one, the fourth one, and so on. Same for the trinkets, same for weapons and everything else available. I think this is going to be updated soon because it uses the Wowhead Beast list. So as soon as the Wowhead Beast list are up, the phase two is going to be appear here. This one, I just enjoyed so much and I think you would enjoy it too. Let's just hope it gets updated until the release of this video. Hope you enjoyed the video guys if you did smash like and given the fact that you're still watching the video you might be interested in my second youtube channel prosadamus tv there's going to be a link right here on the screen and you can easily find it in the description of the video right under the twitch link thanks for watching hope you enjoy phase two and may you be blessed by the gods of rng until next time stay frosty bye bye